students today we learn how to represent rational numbers on the number line we know any number can be represented on the number line whether rational numbers can be represented or not let us see let us take a number line as usual say this is the number line if you represent uh, whole numbers and integers etc we will take unit distances first these unit distances represent each uh, each dot or the point represent a number if you start with 0 this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 etc and towards the left minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and minus 4 etc on to the left side so towards the left of the 0 you will have, you will have negative numbers and towards the right of the 0 you will have positive numbers so this is the usual notation for representing numbers on the number line up to integers even as you know every integer is a rational number every whole number is a rational number every national natural number is a rational number so rational numbers can be represented on the number line so now what next next any rational number any fraction can be represented on the number line we know that but how to do that let us see an example through an example we learn how to represent given rational numbers on the number line first one say 3 by uh, 7 by 4 7 by 4 we represent on the number line to represent 7 by 4, see the denominator, it is 4. So now take a number line first. Let me draw. I will take a scale. Let us draw the number line as you usually draw. Number line is drawn. Now unit distances you measure, unit distances you mark. So each point in between any two points the distance is same. Right? Say 7 by 4. First 7 by 4 is it a positive number or a negative number you check. It is a positive number. So you can have only positive values. 0 can be to one particular side and all other positive values. 0. Next what is the denominator you check? 4. So next you take 1 by 4 go with 2 by 4, 3 by 4, 5 by 4, 6 by 4, 7 by 4 and so on 8 by 4, 9 by 4 etc. Now the number required is 7 by 4 so it is represented on the number line with this particular point. Say point P. Point P represents 7 by 4 on the number line. Next let us take a negative number and check the number given here is minus 5 by 6 minus 5 by 6 once again we draw a line again now the negative number a given number is a negative number negative rational number so towards left of the zero we have to represent that so zero we represent here first and unit distances we mark 0 0.1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and unit distances we mark and what is the denominator here 6 therefore every unit distance every point on the mark here to be represented with 6 here with 6 denominator so 1 by 6 but negative towards left negatives minus 1 by 6 this is minus 2 by 6, this is minus 3 by 6, this is minus 4 by 6, minus 5 by 6, and this is minus 6 by 6, and so on and so forth. Now we want only minus 5 by 6. So this comes here. Say Q. Q minus 5 by 6 is represented here on the number line. This way we can represent rational numbers on the number line. Now, you all uh, follow the same process and represent uh, 2 by 11. Here I write the question. Question is represent 2 by 11, 3 by 11, 7 by 11, 
10 by 11 on the number line. So this is the assignment for you for now. And we see the rest in the next class.